The woman accused of stabbing her boyfriend to death made her first appearance in a South Florida courtroom. Courtney Clenny facing a judge after being extradited from Hawaii. CBS 4's Trish Christakis is in West Miami-Dade where Clenny is still being held tonight. Trish. Courtney Clenny was in bond court this morning with her attorney. She is currently being held at DGK behind me. Her attorney argued that there is not a probable cause for second degree murder. There is an information that has been filed for a murder in the second degree with a weapon, a life felony. And the original warrant was issued with a no bond hold. Courtney Clenny, accused of stabbing her boyfriend Christian Abumseli to death, appeared in bond court Saturday morning. Her lawyer, Frank Prieto, says there is an issue with the arrest warrant. I just feel it's important that the court be made aware that that warrant that Judge Jello signed, I do find that he he did find probable cause. However, there's not probable cause for second degree murder, Judge. At best, it's manslaughter. Clenny's attorney claims that there were several misstatements in the warrant, indicating cherry picked text messages and alleged bruising. Prieto says he has proof. The detective also indicated there's no signs of bruising that were consistent with Ms. Clenny. I was at the homicide unit and I have photographs of her bruising. I have reached out to Clenny's lawyer to see the evidence they're claiming they have, but have yet to hear back. I can go on all day, Judge. At this stage, it is inappropriate for a first appearance judge to be addressing these mat substantive matters on this proceeding. Um, this is something that counsel should raise through written motion um, before the trial court. The judge addressed Clenny and said that she's not the judge who should be making these decisions, and she wants a judge who knows more about her case to take over. I don't want to make any sort of ruling in then jeopardize whatever right for review you'd have in front of a judge who may be more familiar with the facts of the case. I understand, Your Honor. For all those reasons, I'm going to abstain at this moment from interjecting my opinion and allow this case to be reset in front of the judge who is going to be handling the case. And there was no bond at this state. Her arraignment is scheduled for September 6th. At DJK, Trish Krasakis, CBS 4 News Tonight.